A Fox News alert for you. San Diego police in a standoff with a possible second suspect in the shooting death of an officer. The officer was killed, another seriously wounded, after a late night traffic stop turned into a gun battle. One suspect was shot and taken into custody and police have surrounded the home of a possible second suspect. Steve Rogers is a retired lieutenant detective for the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department, a former member of the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. We were talking about this in the break, some very interesting stuff. You're saying that police are going to change the way that they operate as a result of these things that we're seeing. Tell me how. They're going to have no choice but to ensure that the lives of their officers are now protected. And here's how they'll do it. Instead of one police car with two police officers pulling you over, uh, I'm sure that they're going to call for two additional backups. You'll have three police cars with six officers, perhaps tactically stationed, so that they will have the best view of any suspect exiting the car and any suspects inside a car. I've actually seen that in Manhattan recently where they had cops on either side of the car for what looked like a routine stop that's probably already going into effect in some places. Now we know what that means. What else? Uh, well, another thing is we're going to need help from the courts. Look, judges are releasing career criminals. I believe most of these individuals assaulting officers are career criminals. Judges are immune from prosecution. Maybe we're going to have to change that. Judges are going to have to be held accountable, especially when they release career criminals. He'll kill, pol kill police officers. Could it be done? Anything could be done. It's up to our elected officials. Wow. I mean, that's a controversial thought. Very controversial. I'm sure Judge Napolitano would probably yeah. have something to say about it. And he's a great guy. We are awaiting a, a conference right now, I should tell you, right there. You can see it on your screen where they're going to come out and talk about this situation that's going on in San Diego. We're going to go to it as soon as they start speaking. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, you said there's another. you have another suggestion One as well. One more point. The President of the United States and Speaker Paul Ryan, let him come together. I'm looking at you. Come together, please, and, and calm the nation. We're Republican, Democrat President, Republican Speaker. We need our leaders to stand up now and to speak out, not about politics, but about calming the nerves of everyone across this nation, especially our men and women in blue. What, what does that sound like when they come together, though? Because you hear, I mean, inevitably, every side gets offended by the language. If you say all lives matter, that's a controversial thing to say now. Uh, blue lives matter. I mean, how do they come together and not inflame one side or the other? Well, they come together by telling the truth. And the truth is all lives matter. Black lives, white lives, every life matters. So when they come out and they tell the truth that every single human being in this country matters, we need to come together and we need to work together to solve our problems because the political rhetoric has gotten to a point where there's fear gripping this nation, yeah. gripping everyone across ethnicities, especially our police officers. Do you think that police officers are, are doing less law enforcement, given that their own lives are at risk and they're watching this every day? Do they think twice before they make a stop and not always make it? Well, I think that uh, uh, it's not that they're doing less work. They're doing less proactive policing because, as we saw in Baltimore, the government officials are not backing them up. Uh, look, a police officer has to make a quick decision. Decision. And that decision is a life and death decision. And the people making the decisions that will steer the course of these officers have to change their attitude. Scary times. Thank you for your insight. And we'll be right back.